just realized how long this act is. Oh my god. Hey, it's Katie and Welcome back. After a brief intermission, we're back with Hamilton the Paper Doll Production Act 2. I have all of my cast ready. There were a lot of comments saying that I forgot lots of things about Act 1. Yeah, I forgot a lot of things in that video. Like putting down these tabs so the outfits actually stayed on. I've sticky taped the, the back of the outfits so they will be fully clothed for Act 2. Well, Alexander and Mariah might not be. Brief little update, Alexander has had a costume change, so watch out ladies, he is coming for everybody except for Eliza. We actually have a new cast member and that is Mr. Thomas Jefferson. Um, we ended on an amazing montage of non-stop where everybody's singing, everybody's going crazy, Alexander's like, peace out. It's just a lot. And let's see where Act 2 will take us. We start with an amazing song called What Did I Miss? Thomas Jefferson jumps in. Hey everybody, what did I miss? I was in France. He's missed a few days off school and he's coming back to figure out what he missed. Turns out he already has to do a cabinet battle. I guess he better think of something to say. Now, we head to somewhere and there is a cabinet battle. And that really is just like a rap battle, but for the older people. They start rapping some verses and spitting some rhymes. And Mr. George Washington is there. He's kind of like the mediator in between the two of them. Also, this isn't related to the show, but because I used washi tape to stick all of the um, things together, if you turn these around, it's actually the colors of Angelica, Liza, and Peggy. Maybe these guys can be the new Skylar sisters. Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy. Yeah, you are kind of pe the Peggy. Anyway, back to the cabinet battle. They all start fighting, and then it gets pretty heated. Um, Jefferson spits some rhymes, but then Alexander is like, turn around, bend over, I'll show you where my shoe fits, and it's like, Yikes. It got personal really quickly and Alexander got really triggered. Once again, that's the whole point of the show. Then they're like, hey, maybe you should like cool it for a sec. Also the whole point of the show, everyone being like, Alexander, maybe just chill. Then cut to Eliza playing the piano with her son. I was going to say John Lawrence. Honestly, it's fair. With her son, Philip. They're playing the piano, it's all so sweet. And then she's like, hey, Alexander, why don't you come downstairs and take a break? And he's like, oh, no, I'm too busy. And she's like, take a break. And he's like, no, I can't. She's like, take a break. And then he's like, okay, I'm coming downstairs. And then they both come down and he's like really impressed by the sun. He's like, oh, our sun is pretty great. And Eliza's like, yeah, who do you think's been taking care of him all this time? <laughs> And then she's like, hey, guess what? Angelic is gonna come over. And he's like, all right, sweet. Secretly, Alexander has been messaging, AKA writing handwritten letters to Angelica. Alexander's sending letters, and on one of them, he sends with a comma. Punctuation is always important, but it's even more important right now. It's like a Valentine's Day card to Angelica. He could have just put a comma and she would have been like, oh. <sighs> Because that's how important the comma was. So he wrote, my dearest, comma, Angelica. She's like, was that, was that your intention? Um, <sighs> so they're like secretly messaging and they're like, oh, will they, won't they? Hoping that they won't they because of Eliza. And then Eliza's like, Alexander, you've got to, ah. Then Eliza's like, hey, you've got to come downstairs because Angelica's arriving today. He comes downstairs. Look who's there, it's Angelica. And then he's like, Angelica, Eliza, the Skyless sisters, and, and Rip Peggy. They're both like, hey, take a break, take a break, take a break. And he's like, I can't, I can't. Cut to the next song, where one of the first lines is, you've never seen a bastard orphan more in need of a break. And it's like, well, you just had the opportunity. And who comes along? Miss Mariah Reynolds walked into my life, she said. She's like, hey, I'm lost, I need some help. And he's like, yeah, like, I'll walk you home. And then he's like, so I'm um, gonna go. And then she's like, stay. And he's like, I've got no other option but to stay, I guess. And things get a little bit 
juicy. They don't have a Mr. James Reynolds, who is uh, Mariah Reynolds' husband, but he then sends a letter and he's like, hey, what's up? If you don't pay me this amount of money, I'm going to tell everyone that you're sleeping with my wife and that will be bad for you and I'm gonna tell Eliza. He's like, oh no, my consequences have actions? What a concept. So then he decides nobody needs to know and there he starts paying James Reynolds so he can keep it a secret that he's with Mariah. Part two, Aaron Burr. He's like that child on the playground that really wants to be with the cool people, but he doesn't, like he pretends he doesn't want to be with the cool people, but he really wants to be with the cool people. And he sings a whole song about not being in the room where it happens. So he decides, you know what? I'm gonna get to the room where it happens. Another cabinet battle happens with the new Skylar sisters. Cut to George Washington and um, Alexander Hamilton. They're having a pleasant talk and then he's like, I need to talk to you. And he's like, I didn't do anything, it was Thomas Jefferson. And it's like, calm down, he didn't blame you of anything. I don't wanna be the president anymore. And Alexander is that meme that's just that blinking man being like, Start singing the song about one last time and Alexander just is in complete denial that any of this is happening. So George Washington decides to step down and not run for president, which means that now Thomas Jefferson has a chance of becoming the president and Alexander hates that. Guess who's back? It's the king. He has decided to come back on stage for another song of the same tune. Then Alexander gets surrounded by Aaron Burr, Thomas Jefferson, and a few other people who I haven't cut out, nor do I have in my puppet book. And they surround, they say, hey, Hey, we know you're doing some sketchy things. We know. And Alexander's like, no, you don't. And he's they're like, I think you'll find that we do. And um, Alexander is like, fine, I'll tell you then, I guess. Like, if you're asking so much, I'll tell you. Yes, I'm having an affair. And they're like, oh, we didn't know. Then Alexander decides, you know what? Because I've told these people, I need to tell everyone. So he decides to write his way out and um, before telling Eliza, tells the whole world that he uh, slept with Mariah Reynolds. All of a sudden, there's a hurricane um, in Alexander's head. Guess who comes running back from London? Damn, it's Angelica. And Alexander selfishly is like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming. I really need your support right now. And Angelica's like, I'm not here for you, like, I'm here for my sister. Cut to Eliza walks along the stage with a candle. Real fire, by the way. I cannot use real fire with my cast members because they're paper. So she starts burning every letter he gave to her. She doesn't believe what he's doing anymore. He's not allowed to sleep with her anymore. He's gonna be sleeping in the office. Then we have young Philip, um, Eliza and Alexander's son, happily walking down the street. Then he decides to pick a fight um, because he heard someone say some bad things about his dad. And he's like, you know what? The only way that we can solve this is with guns. So let's have a duel. Let's just make this happen. And then he finds Alexander and he's like, dad, I'm kind of nervous. I decided to do this duel. Mm, why? And then Alexander's like, hey, that's totally fine. Take my guns. And then he says, you know, when you're in a duel, just make sure that you don't actually shoot them because that's, that's not really what it's all about. But count to 10 and put your gun in the air and let them know you're not gonna shoot them. It's just all about the bravery of showing up. Okay, Philip goes to the duel, puts his gun in the air straight away, counts to 10, gets shot. Alexander and Eliza find out, they run to the hospital, all they want him to do is stay alive. She finds out that her son has died and she's like, Alexander, did you know what it was about? And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> After the death of their son, they decide to move uptown. You would like it up here, it's quiet uptown. I walk around the garden, he doesn't do too much. Eliza comes in and forgives him. They stick together as a unit. She forgives him. And they decide, hey, let's get back to politics. Let's get back to the, the real deal. It's the election of 1800. Guess who else is running? Aaron Burr. Spoiler alert, Thomas Jefferson wins because Aaron Burr came second. He gets to be vice president, which makes no sense at all. And the reason Thomas Jefferson won is because Alexander put his vote in for Thomas over Aaron Burr. If Burr was tricked before, he has just multiplied his trigonometry. He's like, oh my gosh, every bad thing that's happened to me is because of you. It's all your fault. What the heck? 
signed A. Burr. Um, you're gonna have to be more specific with what things have gone wrong with you because, yeah, I've done a lot of things and I kept a list. <laughs> A. Ham. They decide to jewel. They ride across the Hudson. This is at dawn, so maybe like 5 a.m. And there's a really long song which I'm not gonna go through because it's emotional, but pretty much they aim the pistol at the sky, but Aaron Burr shoots. Alexander. Now he's the villain. We cut to the final scene. Let's pretend everyone's there. They're saying, you know what? You don't get to choose who lives and who dies. You also don't get to choose who tells your story. But luckily, Alexander had a saint of a wife and Eliza, despite all, continues to tell the story. And curtain falls on act two. The audience goes bonkers. And that concludes Hamilton Paper Doll Edition Act 2. Thank you so much for watching this masterpiece. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, not really sure what it is, but thanks for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye!